Yeah, it's totally not creepy that you're just sitting here all by yourself staring at everyone. Wanna join us? Come on. Molly's trying so hard to include me. And no, I still have nothing in common with Shelly and the Karens, even though we've been in school together forever. Hey kids, what's the latest? We were just discussing our fabulous summer plans. Joey, does your family still go to Sun River every summer? Oh, my mom's on this book tour this year, so we probably won't make it. So you're just gonna hang out with your pops then? Shut up, Shelly. No, I'm the girl whose dad died, remember? So you're really gonna abandon me this summer? Marissa is the one abandoning me from her stupid book tour. My, my dad's body is practically still warm. Too dark. Well. Hey, congrats on those stellar PSAT scores. You'll be writing your own ticket for college. You keep that shiz up. Thank you, Mr. Gately. You guys joining the other kids for the big tailgater? Yeah, I'm not really in the mood for date rape tonight. So. Okay, well, have a great summer. Thanks, Mr. Gately. Too dark. So, you're going to the party with me tonight. You are the worst best friend ever. And you're gonna love me for it. Aaron's gonna be there, and he and I are like meant to be together forever. I wouldn't want to interfere with destiny. <laughs> See you later. All right, bye. Like you said, the best day of school is the last day of school. Not exactly thrilled to be hanging out with the old folks this summer, but at least I won't be here. Their dinner? Dinner, right. Um, pizza? Again. No dishes. I really want to come home to a clean house. Great. I'm not hungry. Are you packed? Thinking about it. <sighs> Anything else? I put a fresh bouquet on Daddy's grave today. I know. You took the flowers out of the vase? Is that a problem? Well, they won't last as long. If you wanted them to last long, you wouldn't have cut them. Well, we're not gonna be here to enjoy them this summer, so I thought Daddy might like them. As if Daddy can even see them. What are you doing? Packing. Well, what are you looking for? Sweatshirt. Molly and I are going out tonight. When are you gonna be home? The question isn't when, dear Carissa. It's if. Oh my god. He's coming over here. Act like I just said something really funny. <laughs> I know, right? Hi, Molly. Having a good night? Hi, Aaron. You know Joey, right? Yeah, we had uh, chem together, right? I'm surprised you remember. You never said a single word to me. <clears throat> Who wants a drink? Love one. Thanks. Okay. BRB. Better stay right there. I promise I won't leave. Is uh, the seat taken? Uh, yeah, Molly's coming right back. Sure about that? To the best summer ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not the only one who doesn't like coming to these. Do I have my nose? <laughs> yeah, they look miserable. Aaron, this is a total no fun zone. Come back to the party. All right. Sorry about your dad, Joey. Peace out, bitches. Joey, stop that. 
What will people think? Dad would have thought that was funny. You ready? Thank you. You came through my vagina, you can come through the door. We discovered juicing. That's good. <laughs> They're my girls. Hey, Joseph. Hi, <laughs> Papa. Sweet. So, power boost for the road, beads, kale, and a pinch of silly mouse. What? It's good for the colon. I hope you're seated on the aisle. So, you coming with us, Joey? Mm, not a fan of airport goodbyes. I'll no. check in with you when I get to JFK, all right? I'm at a loss. Don't worry. We'll take good care of her. She is our favorite granddaughter, after all. I'm your only granddaughter. We'll see you in August for our 40th. That's the plan. Okay. So, who wants to do drugs? Hot acid. A little cocaine, maybe. Uh, maybe I should settle in before we hit the hard stuff. Ooh. You're very reasonable for a teenager. I don't think I need to play another round of miniature golf for quite some time. You're just sore because I beat you. Yeah, miniature golf is pretty lame. No, actually, you were quite good. Gave your mini a run for her money. You should know that your grandmother is the miniature golf champion of the family. <laughs> you guys are cute. Mom and Dad were just like you. So, Joey, you have a boyfriend? What? Haven't found the right guy yet. Uh, Joseph, maybe she's a lesbian. Well, that's okay. Yeah. A lot of kids are gay these days. Jesus, I'm not a lesbian. <gasps> Let's go. You guys are a little too cool. It's freaking me out. Good afternoon, Roy. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Margaret. Hi. Is that your granddaughter? Yeah, this is yeah. Joey. Stuck with us all summer, poor sucker. Victor's back with us again. Who knows how long this time. Well, why so glum? He's gone goth. Well, I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. We'll see you for cards tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Grandpa and I are heading over to the islands for cards. Hello? Hello? What? We play late, so don't wait up. Oh, you crazy kids. What will I ever do with you? Whoa! Oh, okay, what, what are you doing? Why don't you jump on my bike and tear through the neighborhood, okay? Good girl.
young lady. Joey, what, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Where, where are you going? Victor, honey, someone's here to see you. Victor! This is our granddaughter, Joey. She's spending the summer with us. Lucky Joey. You know you have the coolest grandparents ever, right? And your mom's like that famous novelist, yeah? I, I, I'm sorry, I thought I saw something. I'm, I'm leaving now. Nice seeing you, Joey. What was that all about? Good question. Hey, wait up. I know what I saw. Your window was open and, and pretty music was blasting out of it, so I couldn't help but notice. Next time you attempt suicide, you might want to try turning your you lights off. You like my music? What? The music I was playing. You said you liked it. Uh, yeah, it, it was sad and beautiful. Two great tastes that taste great together. I'm sorry I scared you. I was just doing one of my performance pieces. A performance? For who? Oh, for myself. Who else? What? Well, I can't come in. And why not? A vampire has to be invited into a mortal's home. I thought everyone knew that. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just come on in. Got any beer? Uh, root beer? Uh, adorable. So, if you're a vampire, shouldn't you be drinking blood? You know, I'm not really a vampire. But don't tell my grandparents. They're the real vampires. Wait, I'm not following. You're not really a vampire, but your grandparents are? Imagine their disappointment when they find out I am only a goth. <laughs> you want to make out? Uh, I'm I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> what does your room look like? Wow, so tidy. You're not a serial killer, are you? Because I saw this show and serial killers tend to be very clean. <laughs> well, I am not a serial killer. Huh. Well, I guess I won't know until it's too late. Nice, firm. Not half bad taste in music. Um, you are very smug, you know that, mister? If by smug you mean awesome, you'd be correct, young lady. Got any pot? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I I've never done drugs. Well, there's a first time for everything, isn't there? Did you mind taking that outside? I just don't want my grandparents thinking I'm some kind of drug addict. Smoking a little grass hardly makes you a drug addict. Here. Impressive timing. You know, it's very impolite to turn down another person's weed. He looked at the girl, aimed the pistol, and fired a bullet through his right temple. He friggin' shot himself. 
Okay, wait. Tori just kills himself and then it ends? That was so messed up. We're dying from the moment we're born, Poodle. It's best that you accept that now. Oh my god. Is it really that late? Where are my grandparents? I'm telling you, they're all vampires over there. <laughs> Should we eat some more? Hmm. I'm thinking yes. Great. Did I scare you? Good. We were wondering when you were going to come back to live. What time is it? Almost noon. You could have fun last night. I should ask you two the same thing. Last time I checked, it was 2 a.m. and you still hadn't made it home. Whoa. Does he do that often? Do what, dear? What? <clears throat> Breakfast is served. Of course, it's almost lunch, but, uh... What the hell? <laughs> really? Is the nakedness necessary? He isn't naked, dear. He's wearing an apron. So, what are you doing today? Any plans? Um, Victor and I thought that it would be fun to hang out. You look really beautiful. I look really awkward. But in a really attractive way. <sighs> oh! Think of it as an advance on your inheritance. <laughs> oh my. Have fun tonight. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ireland. Uh, is Victor home? You know, I think he just went to the coffee shop. Really? We, we were supposed to hang out together. He went to get coffee. Yeah, he went for coffee. Are you excited about the fourth? I hadn't really thought about it. You're an American, aren't you? Well, yes, I'm an American, but the fourth seems a little bit far off. <laughs> it's around the corner. I just got back from Tijuana with this little baby. Now, if the cops come knocking, you ain't seen nothing. Okay, well, have a good day, Mr. and Mrs. Ireland. Strange girl. There you are. Can't talk, Ma. Gotta run. Everyone, have you met my new friend Joey? Joey, this is Penn, and this is her boyfriend Cobb. Hi. Uh, Penn and Cobb are those nicknames or something? Penn is an adult female swan. Cobb is an adult male swan. Did you guys know that swans mate for life? Of course we know that, don't we, beloved? Penn and Cobb have made a blood vow to be together forever. See, they have vials of each other's blood around their neck. Isn't that romantic? Sure. When he dies, I will take my own life immediately, and he will do the same for me if I pass on to the next world before him. We will be together in this life and in the hereafter. If there is a hereafter. Of course there is a hereafter. Positively can't wait for the hereafter. But what if we're already dead, and this is the hereafter? I love your exquisitely twisted mind, you know that? You ditched the grandparents this afternoon. A person can only play so much canasta, really. I love canasta. Um, Victor, can I? talk to you in, in private for, for a second? Sure.
What's up? It's just that I, I thought we were gonna hang out, you know, together. Jesus, Joey, I'm really shocked. We didn't even have sex last night, and you're already so possessive. No, no, that's what I, I mean, you stalked me all the way here, and now you're here to give me a guilt trip about meeting up with my friends. I wasn't stalking you, I just thought that we were gonna hang Joey, out. Joey, relax. I'm just kidding. I didn't have your number in my phone, so I thought you'd figure out to meet me here. You know, you're really sweet. You know that, right? What? It's just, your outfit is really bringing me down. It's time to freshen things up a little bit. And by freshen, I mean change every single thing about the way you look. Uh, will this help? Pen, Cobb, emergency makeover. Back off, bitch. Eliza Doolittle's mine. You'll be a new woman once I'm done with you. She gets really moved by makeovers. Just one last thing. Okay. <laughs> Look at this pair of blobs. Blobs? Where's the black? Like you now. Black's a great color on you ladies. Very slimming. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> How's our girl? We went shopping. This is no time for small talk. Your whole life is about to change. Thank you. Should we be worried? They're teenagers. Yes. Okay. Oh, these are nice. We should dye this. <sighs> what do you think? Utterly lugubrious. The utterly lugubrious. What do you think of that for a band name? Check this out. Oh my god. My mom is gonna kill me. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. Like this? You can do that? Oh. <laughs> oh god. You look like the Bride of Frankenstein. Hot. Hey, see you at eight. I don't think I'm gonna make it tonight. Close your eyes. You know, there's no going back now, right? You guys going to a funeral? Why? Do you happen to know of any good ones? <laughs> We're off to a party, you guys. We'll get her home safe. Promise. Did you see what that boy did to her, Joey? Yeah. It finally looks like she's having some fun. Uh. Wait. I want you be perfect. Hey, Joey, give me your phone. Okay. Now, uh, press play when we get to the party. Trust us.
I love this song. Let's dance. Doesn't it seem sort of wrong to be dancing on someone's grave? I've got a secret for you, kiddo. They're already dead. They won't even know. look amazing. You look amazing. You are amazing. You need to reapply, poodle. Well, well, if it isn't a goth convention. Not again. Oh, hey, newbie. Nice lipstick. Very fetching. Oh, don't you two make a cute couple. Quit touching me, ma'am. Victor, your girlfriend says I should stop touching her. I'm not his girlfriend. <laughs> You hear that, Victor? She says she's not your girlfriend. How does that make you feel? Oh, I was just having a little fun. Am I making everyone uncomfortable? Why don't you just leave? You weren't even gonna be here. I hate this cemetery. Nothing but goths and dead people. Hey, you know what would be really convenient? If I just killed all of you and buried you here. Just get out of here. I mean, you're a goth now. You goths can't wait to die. Stop it, you're hurting me. Who's gonna make me? Antonio, stop. Try me. Dumb goths, I should bury all of you. Punk bitch. Victor, just let him go. What did you just say to me? And tell me! Enough! Let's go. Why are punks such animals? You okay? How such a buzzkill. Come on. I want to show you something. I like to think of this as my summer home. Let's stay here all night. Then we can get up and watch the sunrise. Is everything okay? Um, I guess I'm just still a little freaked with the whole scene with Antonio, maybe. You're a virgin, aren't you? What? Well, yeah, te technically. Technically? Yeah, you're a virgin. I 
I guess I just need to slow things down a little, okay? Sure. I get it. What time is it? My parents are gonna kill me. You coming? There's the light. Are you just now getting in? Um, yeah, I uh, I was hanging out at Victor's late last night, and I guess we fell asleep. We were over there until late last night, and uh, we didn't see you there. Are you going to tell us what really happened? Okay, Victor and I went to a party at the old cemetery and we kind of fell asleep together in a tomb, but it's cool, nothing happened. It was totally PG. Was your phone stolen while you were sleeping? <sighs> Whatever, okay? I go to one lousy party and I get interrogated. Ow! What did you do that for? Because I can't legally beat the crap, beat any sense into you. <sighs> Next time send a text, young lady. You know how to text? No. out of control, you know that? I miss you. I'm only 45 minutes away. I should just come over. I would love that. You can meet Victor. Ooh, he sounds like trouble. I think he might be. We spent the night together in a tomb. Okay, that is totally creepy, and I'm totally there. Okay, sweet. See you soon. I'll check with my parentals, and I'll get back to you. Later, Lydia. Hello there YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine and I'm going to be showing you how I create this to look here. I really hope that you guys enjoy this look. I'm not buying any more bags except people who are not really good at the game. And I don't put on makeup. When you like lipstick, that's my standard. How predictable. Not all lipsticks need a lip liner, but sometimes it helps. You can take it up as high as you want, depending on the kind of... Whenever you teach your hair, you're going to take the brush like this. It's time to hairspray the ever-living shit out of this hair. Hi, guys. What you doing? <laughs> For the July picnic, duh. And your little boyfriend's grandparents are itching to get going. He's not my boyfriend. Let's get a move on, people. Well, if it isn't the bell of the ball. I didn't have my team to put me together this morning. What do you think? It's close, but not quite. It's like you're holding back or something. I guess I'm just new to this whole goth thing. I think you're just scared of what people would think if you really went for it. I don't care what people think. No? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, if you don't care what people think, then why did you just ask me what I thought?
Oh, it's a little early for Halloween, don't you think? <laughs> hey, Victor, try not to get your ass kicked today, would you? Would you look at that? A hot dog wrapped in bacon. God bless America. You want to get out of here? Happy Fourth of July, Jerry. Birthday, America. I don't ever want to go back. Can't we just stay in the cemetery forever? Wow. Maybe you are a real god. find me. Have a nice evening, Joey. Yep. Thanks, Mimi. Want pancakes? Uh, no, I'm just gonna sleep for a while. Um, Victor and I are gonna hang out later. Didn't we agree you would text the next time you were going to stay out late? Uh, yeah, I, I lost my phone, but um, no worries, I found it. You're spending an awful lot of time with that boy. Yeah, well, I really like him, I guess. We don't like it, that you're staying out all night. Are you being safe? Okay, it's fine, nothing's happened. Your mother called, worried to death. If my mother is so worried about my whereabouts, then why'd she dump me here all summer? 
Why don't you spend some time with your grandparents this summer? Okay, you guys, listen. I'm sorry that I didn't send a text, but I figured you guys knew I was with Victor. That doesn't make us feel any better. We're asking you not see Victor for two weeks. Uh, are you, like, grounding me? We're not grounding you. We're just, um, limiting your bad choices. And what does that mean exactly? We're grounding you. Joey, dear. Yes, Grandfather, dear. We thought it might be a good idea if you joined us. We have big plans. Oh, big plans, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I can resist the sound of that, Papa. And I'm not sure I would have taken no for an answer. Now, throw on something black and meet us downstairs. Yes! People actually play bingo? Oh, this ain't your grandma's bingo. This is like acid trip bingo. <laughs> now I'm curious. Yeah, come on. O row 69. And our next number is in the B row, B11. Yeah. Up next, we have a, a, a bingo. Helga, yeah. my goodness, you won again. Come on up. Let's see, I have to confirm that, because you win an awful lot. I'm suspicious. I know everybody's so quiet, they're not very happy for you. Can we get a nice round of applause for Ellie? we got to be supportive of one another. B3, yes. B11, yes. O69, my favorite number. Congratulations. How do you always win so much? I'm an expert at bingo. You are very expert at bingo. Thank you so much. Your prize is, are you ready for this? A year's supply of soft cheese. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think you would. You're welcome. Congratulations. Very nice. Supporter of Helga. Okay, everybody, welcome to our newcomers who just arrived a little bit late. Nice to see you, little unhappy girl. Welcome. Okay, ready? The game you're going for right now is just plain old, regular, straight bingo. Just like me, plain old, regular, and straight. We're going to go up and down, side to side, or diagonal. You got it? You only need five to win. How about B4? Not after, but before. I have that one. And our next number is G55. I can't drive. I have that one too. It's crazy. The last number in the bingo board is 075. How about 075? Got it. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, and those in between, for you, our next number is I-27. Yeah. My age, I-27. Don't snicker over there. Oh my gosh. Wait, what the, what the free space I think that I might have? Shout it out, huh? Oh, bingo! I have bingo! Oh, you're the winner of the family. Oh, wait a minute. Did you say bingo? Yeah. Oh, well, I can hear you with all this popcorn machine. So, okay, zombie girl, come on. Let's see what you got. That game was rigged. 
You're the new one, right? I haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, it's my first time. Oh my, have you ever played bingo ever? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, have you ever been this close to a man in a dress before? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a day of first for you. What is your name? Joey. Joey, nice to meet you. I'm Ralph. Okay, so we have B4. We have I-27. Okay, you use your free spot. Very clever. It's sometimes cheating, but not in this case. How about G-55? Yes. And O-75. That's a good bingo. Let's get a nice round of applause for Joey. Congratulations. Okay, Joey, so we're out of soft cheeses, but I have for you a two-month pass to underwater aerobics at the Senior Center. Oh, we can go together. I know. I know. Yeah, you know, they usually like that kind of prize. Congratulations. This is Joey one more time. Thank you so much. And now we're going to clear the board and we're going to play again. Are you guys ready? Let's play again. How's your licorice bingo, queen? Oh. <laughs> Even her tongue wears black. <laughs> See, it's not so bad hanging here with us. Nah, you guys are all right, I guess. I wonder how your mom is doing. I don't. Whoops. Listen, you can always talk to us. Okay, how about we just keep not talking about her? Or him, okay? You know what? I think today is the last day of your grounding, zombie girl. What do you think, Mimi? Oh, she satisfied the terms of her sentencing. Really? Like, like you mean it? You're all cleared for takeoff, little bird. Aren't you going to say trick or treat? Bye, guys. Yes, I promise I'll text it if we're going to be out late. You sure you want to take them camping? At least I know they'll love your ghost stories. Oh, yeah. oh God. Why, that scream was positively blood curdling. That's such a turn on. Let's get out of here. I'm starting to melt. Wait, one last shot, okay, guys? <gasps> I know! I'm gonna have to use a ton of powder tonight. I wanna look extra dead for the party. What party? Victor didn't tell you about the party? No, he didn't mention it. I gotta take this. I'll be right back. Joey, lipstick. So are you guys gonna tell me about this party or what? Okay, get over it. I think I know what you're gonna say. We kind of work together, don't we? We just don't want you to feel unwelcome, that's all. And why would Joey feel unwelcome? Oh, right, the party. What, am I like, not invited or something? Well, at first I didn't invite you because you were grounded, but I have to admit, I'm a little nervous you might feel uncomfortable. Why would I be uncomfortable? Because these are real goths. You might feel like kind of a poser. I never thought of myself as a poser. You can't just dye your hair and change your clothes for the summer and expect everyone to accept you as one of our own. It's not just a scene, it's a way of life. Hey, don't pout, pretty lady. It'll be fun. Promise. Are you sure I'm dressed up enough? Yes, you look fine. Please. Relax. So I can smell your fear. Okay, I can't help it. I, I'm thinking that I'm a poser. Please. You're with me. I'm practically goth royalty. Victor? <sighs> he 
You didn't tell me you would be bringing company. Yes. Pandora, this is Josephine, the newest addition to our little coven. Y you can call me Joey. Joey, this is Pandora. She's our host, and her family owns the biggest mortuary in town. Oh. Yes, business has been especially good lately. Why? You've been killing them? <laughs> No, I, I just mean that you, it must be really convenient, you know, having your family on the mortuary, you know, being like a goth and everything. Oh, Pooh. Sad thing in empty chalices. Victor, do you fancy accompanying me to get some punch? Sure. Come, Josephine. Let's all go get some punch. Vampire's blood. Spooky. Wow. Your little friend is charming. I mean, where'd you find her? It's the neighbor girl. What a doll, isn't she? I stopped playing with dolls a long time ago, Victor. So, how about that Marilyn Manson, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for a moment, would you? It looks as though someone's in desperate need of rescuing. Come, my pet. New project. Victor. You uh, smell pretty fruity there. What's in that cup? Oh, it's peachy. Want to try? Well, well, well. If it isn't America's next top goth. What are you doing here? Slumming. Need a drink? I am all set. Thanks. What are you doing here? Well, if you really must know, I came with Victor. Hmm. Have you seen him by chance? You know, I'm really not that bad of a guy. I don't, I don't know what happened the other night. Hey, you guys, I don't mean to be rude, but we're trying to communicate with the other side here. Yeah, why don't you and the Jolly Rancher take your conversation over there? What should I play? Bella Lugosi's dead. Never heard of it. You're new to this whole goth thing, aren't you? Hello, new girl. Oh, hey, Pandora. Um, this is my friend Antonio. Who cares? Where's Victor? I am looking for him too, actually. You know, you two are so cute together. Me and Victor? Thank you, Pandora. No, no, you and him. You want to do shots? Why are you being so nice to me? Okay. <laughs> okay, no, this is not it. Stop, I want to sing. Okay. From the top of the swing set. Joey, Joey, Joey. Victor! Okay, this is my friend Antonio. Nice to meet. Oh, no, what am I talking about? You guys have already met. Remember at the graveyard? Yes. Good to see you again, Antonio. Yeah. It's time to go. What? I'm just starting to have fun. No, I am not going. Mm -mm. <laughs> I think I'm going to rich. Okay, the fun is over. But wait, no, I don't want to go. No, 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 no. See, I want to, I want to sing with my friends, and I want to. Wait, where is everybody going? Wait. Uh, okay. 
Hey, Victor. Yes? Do you think that, do you think that I'm a real goth? No. I think that you're a real mess. Oh. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Baby bats just can't hold their liquor. Hey. Yeah, me too. Listen, I can't talk right now. Okay. Good night, beautiful. Hey, Victor, um, I think I might owe you an apology or something. Call me, okay? <laughs> Thought you might need a strong cup of joe this morning. God, curse the light. No, no. How about joining me for dance class later, huh? Might be good to sweat it out. Uh, yeah, and it also might be good to stay in bed all day. Maybe it's not exercise you need. Maybe it's an exorcism. What? <laughs> We've tried everything else. Maybe it is time to call in a priest. Uh -huh, okay, very funny. Maybe. No, I'm not joking. I'm pretty sure you're possessed by a soul-devouring demon. What else would make you stay out all night keeping us up with worry? What else would make you get drunk and do drugs in our home? Why, oh why, are you still chasing after that boy Victor who doesn't care a flying flip about you? Okay, now I feel shittier. That's the demon. You might want to look into that. Hello, Victor. Oh, hey, finally she answers. Are you alive? Are your grandparents taking good care of you? What is it I hear about a boy? Are you using protection? Jesus, Mom. What? I know what a summer fling is like. It's not a fling, okay? Oh, it's not a fling. So it's serious, what, after a month and a half? Is there a point to this phone call, Mother? I'm just calling to tell my daughter that I love her. Is that for me or for the fans? Later, Mom. Ah, that is such a nice thing to say, honey. Okay, we'll talk to you tomorrow. And who should I make this out to? What is he doing? OMG, it totally feels like we're detectives right now. <sighs> Focus. He's smoking. Ew. You fell for a smoker? That doesn't seem like you. I wouldn't say that I'd fallen for him exactly. You're stalking him with your best friend. 
You are so totally surprised. <sighs> Here, let me look at him. He's so goth. I don't trust the look of him, Joey. Yeah, I know what you mean. Who's ready for a little fun in the forest? How all the good horror films start. <laughs> it's him. He knows we're watching him. Girls, we're loading the car. Have you ever done it in the woods? <laughs> Girls, I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what about Victor? Um, um, hey there. I wanted you two to finally meet. I'm the BFF. You were pretty trashed the other night, weren't you? I uh, tried calling you. I left my phone at Pandora's. I was worried that I might have done permanent damage. I mean, when I woke up the next morning, I wasn't even sure how I got home. <laughs> well, that sounds like quite a night. It wasn't. You look like a couple of dead honeymooners from one of Margaret's ghost stories. Thank you. Joey, get your little friends to stop scaring the other campers and help them set up, okay? Hi, I'm Molly. Enchanté. You've got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> Ready, Maggie? Yeah. Oh, we're so terrible. acquired a mate and she gave birth to a brood of little beautiful beasties and they were ravenous and the beast knew he had to find fresh blood guts and gore to feed his little family so he put his nose to the air and sniffed and ferreted out a bitter vermin. It was a mile away, but the beast could smell him. So he tracked him down and charged and gouged out an eyeball and he wanted to devour it. Oh, Jesus, Joey. You scared me. You think that was scary? You should hear one of Margaret's ghost stories. I think Penn is half a shade whiter. No. You wanna get out of here? What do you mean? Well, there's this club thing happening tonight. I think it might be fun. Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem right somehow. Does it seem wrong? And then the beast disemboweled her and strung up. Her freshly murdered cadaver with her own entrance, carving his name into the box below as a warning to all future campers who dared to enter his forest home again! Woo! <laughs> Woo! That was brilliant. I'm giving you honorary goth status for that macabre and wonderful tale, Margaret. You guys feel like hitting up Club Medusa tonight? Actually, we're kind of having fun here. We'll catch it next month. What's Club Medusa? Okay, kids. We're going to turn in. 
Don't stay up too late. You borrow your car? I promise we'll take real good care of it. So you're really just gonna leave everyone? Um, yeah, there's this, uh, party thing. Let's go. Wait, um, Molly's gonna come with us. She's dying to go to Club Medusa. I am. You look amazing tonight, Joey. I wish I could be you. I don't feel amazing. I feel like I just ditched everyone. You did just ditch everyone. You chose me over them. Uh, and I mean, who wouldn't? Just look at me. Then again, just look at you. Tonight is gonna be out of control. What the hell? Come on. Everyone's waiting. Who's everyone? Are you sure you don't want to change? I bet you say that to all the girls. Why are you so sad, little goth chick? Did your DVD of the craft get scratched? <laughs> Do you think? What did you just say to me? Say it again. I said, I bet you love giving your boyfriend's mullet a little tug every time you blow him. You did not just say that, you feisty little freak! Whoa, what are you little doing? Little tailgate party. Let go of me! I sure know how to treat a lady. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I already got myself a date. With your mother or your sister? You don't want to say that to my fist? <laughs> okay, once more. With feeling. Oh shit! shit. Run! That's what I thought. Thank you. Oh, come on now. Let's just have to stick together. Oh my god, are you okay? Can I just like go sit or something? So, what's going on with you and Victor? So, what's going on with you and that guy from the club? 
So what's going on with your friend and that guy from the future? Come on, I'll take you two back to the campground. What is it I hear about a boy? I don't trust the look of him, Joey. Get drunk and do drugs in our home. If I see a freak? <gasps> what are you doing? Are you ever going to get the concept of reapplying? Oh, come on now. Let's really have to stick together. So you're really just going to ditch everyone? Yeah, you two are so cute together. Well, you're still hanging out with him. Just help me. Sorry about your dad, Joey. I bet you're excited to finally go home. Dad? Go home? Honey, school starts in a few weeks. Wow. I don't know, I just... I guess I didn't think the summer would end so soon. You were going to have to say goodbye to summer sometime, Joey. It was nice having Molly over. Oh. Any idea what happened to Victor? No idea. Oh, your mom called. She's definitely gonna make it back in time for the party. Oh, wow. Is that supposed to make me feel better? God. Hey, guys. What you doing? Sacrificing virgins? What? Oh, we're just trying to decide our band name. What do you think of Sacrificing Virgins? Uh, hits a little close to home. So, not exactly a deal breaker. <laughs> we have no idea where Victor is, if that's what you're about to ask us. And even if we heard a rumor that he was at Pandora's, we certainly wouldn't tell you. Oh, the tragic unveiling of misguided teenage hearts. That's it. That's it. The tragic unveiling of misguided teenage hearts. That's the name of our band. You're a genius. You're in here. Hello? Sorry. Oh my god, Pandora, I I I was just looking for Victor. Yeah. Well, obviously, he is not in here. But if you leave my house this instant, I promise that I won't call the cops on you for breaking and entering. Okay, sorry, my mistake. All right, she's gone. You can come out now. That was close. I'm such an idiot. Don't tell me you're having feelings for your toys now, are you? No. Mimi? Papa? 
Is anybody home? We've reached the goddess Pen. Whatever you say after the beep shall determine your fate. Hi, Pen. Um, I really need a friend right now, so call me back, okay? Listen, I know that you're probably at the airport right now, but, um, I need my mother. What are you doing here? You know, just looking for some trouble. So what are you doing out here in the middle of the night anyway? That's a good question. You were hoping Victor would come looking for you maybe? Another good question. Look, you're not the only one who sat here waiting for him. You weren't even gonna be here. You punched me last time I saw you. No, you're not invited. Get over it. I was pretty lovesick too. I guess he didn't tell you that. <laughs> Come on, tell Antonio everything. Victor treated me like I was his little summer project. I want you to be perfect. Did I even mean anything to him? Well, let's see. You're in a graveyard in the middle of the night by yourself. There's a positively menacing punk with a knife sitting next to you. And Victor's not exactly looking for you right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I suppose. Now can I ask you a question? You're the one with the knife. If you're not his project, then who are you really? Come on, you got this. You're smart. You're hot. Don't let some guy tell you who you are. You have to decide for yourself who you are, you know? I've learned one thing about myself this summer. I deserve better than Victor. I don't think that's the only thing you learned about yourself this summer, but hey, that's a good start. Yeah, I guess you're right. How did you get to be so wise? My mom buys Oprah magazines. I read it on the can sometimes. <laughs> Wait, does that make me gay? You gotta decide for yourself who you are, you know? <laughs> Touche.
get off my baby girl, you thug! You screwed with the wrong family. You guys, I know, I'm you're fine. Right. Your mom called and said you left a strange message. We were really worried. I'm good now, promise. No one need worry, least of all my mother. Can we please get out of here? I'm like way claustrophobic. Great idea. When you get to be our age, the last place you want to hang out is a cemetery, yeah. huh? Rescuing teenagers? I've been here for over an hour. None of you have your phones on. Did you get anything to eat on the plane? No, I'm starving. Honey, I'm so glad you're back. No, oh, thanks, Mom. Listen, we'll get dinner started so you two can catch up. Oh, honey, it's so good to see you. Did you miss me? I got your message. What was that all about? Jesus. What is it with you? You're annoyed if I don't call, you're annoyed if I do. Oh, Joey, don't start with me. You have no idea how much pressure it is to be on a book tour. You have no idea how much pressure it is to be 16. Like I've never been a teenager. So... What's with all the black? I wear black on the outside because black is how I feel on the inside. That's very dramatic. What's his name? His name is Victor, and he broke my heart. Thank you very much. Oh, honey. You look like you just came from a funeral. A funeral? I kind of just did, Mom. You were there too, remember? You think I don't miss him? I miss him every single day. And I really don't appreciate you throwing that in my face. And I'm sure your throng of adoring fans has helped you through this grieving process. That throng of adoring fans pays for your entire life. You know, it wouldn't kill you to show just a little bit of gratitude. And I'm sorry I wasn't here to help you with your boy troubles. No, 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 let's, let's talk about gratitude a little bit. Because you know what I'm grateful for? I'm grateful that I didn't have to spend my summer listening to your saccharine bullshit. You know, I feel sorry for the shallow idiots who read your shitty novels. Want dinner? I'm not hungry. Yeah. Oh, I hope she wasn't a total handful this summer, Mom. Uh, I'm, I'm probably at least partly to blame for that. Oh. Yeah, sometimes we push people away when we really should be pulling them in clothes. Oh! Jesus. Dad. Mm. What am I gonna do about this new phase, you guys? Accept her for who she is. And hope for the best. <laughs> That's what we did when you were a Madonna wannabe. Look how cool you turned out. <gasps> Come in! This way for the punch and brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Can you watch the door for a minute, please? We need to get this party moving, huh? <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Ireland. Come on in. Oh, but watch out for the brownies. There have been rumors. Why do you think we're here, dear? <laughs> I see you'll let any old vampire in here. Hold that thoughts. Surprise! <sighs> what are you guys doing here? Oh, I heard about the party from these freaks. <laughs> Come on, Tony boy, let's get some punch and frighten the old people.
So, where'd you disappear to the other night? Is that a joke? I left you like a dozen voicemails. Oh, I missed you too, my pet. <laughs> I did not say that I missed you. <laughs> no, I cannot believe that I fell for you. I mean, what a total waste of a summer. I turned you into something almost borderline interesting. <laughs> you should be thanking me. Really? Hey, are you Victor? Mom, not now. Oh, this is your mother, the famous novelist. Mrs. Javits, it's an honor. I am a huge fan. Oh, so you read my book? Absolutely, every one. Well, that makes complete sense then. Well, how's that? Because my daughter says that my books were written for shallow idiots. I'm sorry, did you just call me a shallow idiot? <laughs> I'm just saying that my daughter is right more often than I would like to admit. <laughs> In fact, you know, I think I can do better than Shallow Idiot. If I were to describe you in one of my novels, I think I'd call you a vain, glorious, egomaniacal narcissist. <laughs> you are but a phase, my dear boy. A mere case of temporary proctalgia, cleared up by a tube of drugstore hemorrhoid cream. Ooh. So, I think you better go. <laughs> oh, and Victor, time to reapply. Where did that come from? A wise woman once told me that sometimes we push people away when we ought to bring them closer. I just want you to know that I'm always on your side. By the way, proctalgia? Just another medical term for a pain in the ass. It's another thing your grandmother taught me. <laughs> so, you guys, the big news is that I'm gonna cancel the second half of my book tour. Really, dear? Is that wise? You don't have to do that for me, Mom. Yeah, I do. Are you guys ready to get this party started? Woo! <laughs> this thing on? Hi, uh, I would just like to welcome everyone and to congratulate my amazing grandparents, Joseph and Margaret, on 40 years of marriage! <laughs> Without further ado, I am proud to introduce my new favorite band, uh, a tragic unveiling of misguided teenage hearts. Congrats, you crazy kids. This song is for you. One, two, three. <laughs> Remember how excited I was for my fifth birthday party? But then when the kids showed up, I hid in my room and wouldn't come out. You held my hands and said, Joey, you will meet many people in this astonishing and wonderful life of yours, and you'll know when your true friends appear. This is how I will always remember my summer as a goth dancing with my mom and my grandparents and a group of new friends that actually get me. Astonishing and wonderful indeed. Who would have guessed? So, you're a goth now? I didn't even know goth still existed. <laughs> I don't know what I am. Hey, Aaron! You've been replaced! Your new boyfriend looks kind of gay. Oh, shut up, Shelly. Hey, Dad, I have some friends I want you to meet. Lost in moments, 